Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a realistic fog effect in, uh, in Photoshop that you can apply to a lot of different ki kinds of images. I think it works really well on, uh, on this sort of an image where you have some water or, uh, or you know, maybe like a river or a pond like this one. Um, so with that uh, little intro I'm going to go ahead and just get started. It's a pretty quick one. Uh, but it can be a little bit difficult in the way that you might have to uh, you might have to tweak it on your own a little bit depending on your your image, and I'll show you as we go along. Uh, the first thing that you want to do though is pick out a good image that uh, you know high res and all that good stuff, and you know maybe you pick a wildlife image like this one, whatever. You can try it, certainly try it on anything. But uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a new adjustment layer, and what we'll do is we'll go down to our adjustment layer uh, button here for a new adjustment layer in our uh, layers palette and we'll, uh, we'll click on that and we'll do a hue and saturation adjustment layer and uh, what we'll do with that is we'll take the saturation down to negative 100 and we'll bring the lightness up to a positive 100 and uh, obviously you can see uh, what happened there um, and uh, what we'll do now is uh, select our gradient and if it's not the one on top, you just click and uh, and hold onto your paint bucket until the gradient pops up to the top there, and just select your gradient tool. Make sure that you have a, a linear gradient selected, and that it uh, is going from uh, a, a black to white, so that it'll it'll show your your background and uh, and white. And then what we'll do is I think we go from the bottom and drag up to the top. Uh, you could certainly try that, but actually what I think I want to uh, do right now is actually drag from the top to the bottom. And it depends on what way you have your uh, your colors as to the direction that those are going to go. So, uh, in any case, this is what I want. And uh, so you want it, I want it to be a little bit more white on the top. And I think what I'll do is shrink this down a little bit. And I want it to be, I think I want the white to go a little farther into my image. So I'm going to start a little bit higher. And drag it down a little bit lower. Yeah. So maybe I'll do something kind of like that. It's probably pretty good. Okay. Uh, so now, as you can see, that's uh, all taking place on our hue and saturation adjustment layer. Um, it's taking place in the mask in there. So if for some reason it didn't, make sure that you have that mask selected when you are making that gradient, and it should work out fine. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do, and actually you could stop right here. I've seen a lot of pictures that look okay like this. Um, or I've seen a lot of real pictures that, that actually look like this is what I meant to say. Um, you might want to go in it, into your uh, layer mask there and just simply take your eraser and make a really soft brush. Uh, so you click on your brush and go to maybe a negative or go to a zero on the hardness. Just uh, brush in some of the foreground so that um, it's not completely fogged in the foreground like a real picture would be. And uh, like I said you could leave it like this but I'm going to do a few more things to it I think uh, kind of help out the look so uh, I'll go on. Um, so what we'll do is we'll select our background layer and we'll click uh, our new layer button down here to put a layer in between our hue and saturation adjustment layer and our background layer. And we're going to go ahead and rename that mist. Um, then what we'll do is we're going to take our marquee tool and we're going to make sure that as we have our marquee tool selected that we have a feather up here at the top of 30 pixels and we're going to select an area kind of in the middle of our image but just over the water in this image kind of like that and uh, what we'll do then is go up to filter down to render and to clouds and it'll make that kind of a, a look in your uh, in your image and you can press control D or just click on the picture to take off the selection then what we'll do is we'll right click on this mist layer and we'll go up to our blending options. Uh, now, as you can see, um, our blending options by default show us this at first. And what we'll do is we'll go down to our blend if section 
and we're going to press alt on our keyboard and click this left top black color and what that'll do is it'll split those two, the, the black thing in half so that you can slide uh, the right half of the black anywhere that you want and I'm going to slide it all the way over to the right and you can kind of see what that did uh, to the image it looks pretty cool it looks like there, there's mist rising up off the lake right now um, and then we'll just click OK and uh, and that's what it gives us and as you can see it's a little bit rough still so what uh, what we'll do before we kinda clean it up is uh, uh, change the perspective a little bit so we'll go up to edit to transform and perspective and we'll just go ahead and make the perspective of it so that it actually does look like it's kinda covering the whole lake so we'll drag one of the corners in that way it kinda stretches it and gives it this interesting look and uh, you can drag the other corners kind of out this way if you want, uh, that sort of thing. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just uh, apply that. And then uh, the next thing we'll do is we'll zoom out. We'll just press Control, um, or actually we'll just uh, take our, our zoom tool and we'll hold down uh, Alt, and we can zoom out that way. And then what we'll do is we'll go um, with our mist layer still selected. We'll go up to Edit. We'll go to Transform, and we'll go to Scale. And we'll just scale it until it's all covering that pond or lake area. And we'll uh, double click just to uh, make that selection good. And uh, now with our mist layer selected still, we're going to add a clipping mask or a layer mask to that layer. And you just add this, uh, click this layer mask button, and it should add that layer mask. And we'll zoom back in. You can pl press Control plus sign, or you could uh, press Control zero, or uh, just use your zoom tool. But uh, now with that layer mask selected on the mist layer, we're going to uh, select our eraser, which we should still have a very soft brush on, and we're just going to erase away all the mist that's kind of above the lake. And uh, that ought to do it. Something about like that looks pretty good. And then uh, maybe you'll take your opacity down to... 30 or so, and just kind of brush away the mist in the foreground, because once again, the foreground, um, the mist is going to be a little bit more see-through or opaque than the mist that's a little bit farther away. So something like that is going to look pretty good. And, um, at this point, it, it, it's looking pretty good. Uh, what you might do and this is where you can kind of tweak it. As you can see in, the, in my image here, the uh, the background kind of goes back. It goes from a, a, cl a little closer and to farther away to closer again. So what you might do is you take your layer mask on the uh, hue and saturation layer, and you can just take your eraser and erase with your soft brush some of the areas that are a little closer, and just kind of dab it a little bit is the best way to kind of do that. And something like that's looking pretty good. Um, and with that, that uh, pretty much concludes our tutorial. You can mess around with the opacity settings on the individual layers a little bit, and um, and just kind of tweak it to make it look good. But I hope you learned something. Um, please subscribe to my blog. Um, Please uh, um, subscribe to my channel here and uh, tell your friends. And thanks again.